Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and you're watching Fabio's Kitchen where every week we'll bring you an amazing dish made by me. The dish we're presenting today is meatball in marinara sauce. This meatball is very dear and close to my heart. This is my family recipes and you will see that different from any meatball out there, we don't fry them, we don't bake them, we season the sauce and we cook the meatball in the sauce in the pot right here on the stove, all right? And another secret of the success of a good meatball is to keep it moist. In this case, I'm adding ricotta cheese. A lot of people soak their bread in some milk, which is not wrong, but when you cook the meatball, the meat and the milk in the bread, they're gonna release fat and water, and that will evaporate. Ricotta cheese is not gonna release any milk and your meatball will stay super moist. First and foremost, I wanna enhance the flavor of onion and garlic by cooking these before we add that to the meat. So I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna get a good spoon of garlic. I'm gonna get finely minced onion. And these will cook there. As soon as I transfer these into the meat, the marinara goes in the sauce. It's flavored, you don't need to wash it. Some of the aromatics in my meatball are fresh herbs. In this case, basil. I'm gonna give a quick chop to the basil. Parsley. One egg. Let's remember that the herbs, they add herbaceousness, freshness, like parsley, basil, tarragon, thyme, and uh, the eggs is gonna add as a collagen and keep the meat and the other ingredient together. Then I have some breadcrumb. A good pinch of salt. A good pinch of pepper. A nice amount of grana padano. and ricotta cheese. This is the key to the eternal moisture in my meatball. Ricotta cheese will not evaporate and will give a creamy but firm consistency to your meatball. Now, we're adding the meat. The meat I'm using is an 80-20 ground beef. Eighty twenty ground beef has a good fat content and yet is not too fatty. Different from any other meatball, beef meatball needs to be mixed quickly. Otherwise, the meat will get mealy and the meatball will not be nice and firm yet moist. Now that the mix is ready, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Wedding rings, off, in my pocket. Marinara sauce, in the pan. This is the marinara sauce that we made in the previous episode of Fabio's Kitchen. Now, don't be afraid, it's gotta get in there. You gotta make good, like a lemon-sized meatball. And you know what? Make sure you moisturize before. What? Yes, olive oil. Check this out. A little bit, now hold a lot. 
This will prevent the meatball from sticking to your hand and make a mess. Look, there's nothing on my hand. Pretty smart, isn't it? What? Yep, nice size meatball, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. The reason why I'm doing seven of them is because I don't want to overcrowd the pot. So we'll save this for later. And now I'm going to wash my hand, turn the fire up, and this in about 25 to 30 minutes on medium fire in the pot will be ready. All right, guys, the meatball are ready. Revelation. Ta-da! As you can see, in the cooking process, about 25% of the whole meatball shrank. Because again, the meat released the fat, some of the moisture went out, the tomato has reduced, but this now, it's a delicious meatball. When I was a kid, my grandma used to make this all the time. Now, we didn't have fancy ingredients like ricotta or cheese, Italian cheeses. All we had was like a bunch of meat, bits and pieces, odds end and bits and pieces. And we were kind of mixing everything with eggs from the chicken coop and bread. And that was like kind of our meatball. You know, it wasn't much of a meatball because it was a lot of bread in it. It was more like a bread bowl. But now that we can, these, is what you guys should really treat you with. That is gotta be the best meatball you ever had. Maybe top two if you include the one that your mom does it, but that's top two in anybody's book. Meatball with tomato sauce. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen.